In the waning months of the Clone Wars, the 501st faced missions critical to the agenda of Chancellor Palpatine. When we arrived at the bombed-out ruins of Maegiro, our Jedi commander believed we had been sent to take out a droid energy collector. What Kiari Mundi didn't know, however, was that our unit of the 501st was really after an experimental Maegitan power source that the Chancellor wanted for his super laser. Keeping Mundi in the dark wasn't easy. The Jedi had become increasingly wary of the Chancellor's doings and were on the lookout for the slightest hint of treachery. Just like the rest of them, though, he never caught whiff of what was really going on until it was far too late. All right, men. Today's target is an energy collector on the northern section of the platform. If we can take it down, production facilities in the area will grind to a halt. Let's move them out. The enemy's forward command post is on the other side of this bridge. We'll have to capture it before moving on. Let's turn this place into a scrap pile. General Mundi to land. Take out those turrets and clear the deck.
begin our assault on the energy collector. We have to get past the shield barricade. Get behind the shield and take out the generator. Capture the CP. Will serve as an excellent lookout point for our mission. Our second wave of troops is being depleted. on the SEPS energy collector. We have to penetrate their shield barricade. So load up and move out. Take down the core shield by destroying the generator. samples and return them to the dropship on the other side of the bridge. Now take the crystals back to the dropship. The success of the mission on Megiddo was something of a revelation for the men of the 501st. Suddenly, we realized that the Jedi could be fooled. And if they could be fooled, they could be killed. <laughs> <laughs> 